Hi, here's Chris with a new small tutorial. Today I show you how to combine two images in Blender's compositor. What I have here is I have a color information, a baked image from Blender and a baked alpha from Blender. I have uh, shown in one of my tutorials how to bake alpha information inside of Blender and some people asked me how to combine these two informations into a single file. So you can see here is a mask and alpha information from here and it's all in one single file. And uh, this is what I show today. So let's see how it works. So we start with the compositing area here and and what we need is the use notes mode. So we have the render layers here created and the composite. We don't need this both for our small tutorial here. We need something different. So first I take my um, my both images, first the color information and the alpha information. For everyone who don't know where these images come from, yeah, I've prepared a small tutorial on YouTube some, I don't know, one year ago, two. And uh, there you can learn how to bake alpha information in Blender. So it's, it means this images here, this one is, is a baked result from Blender, okay? And this one is a color information and also a baked result from Blender. So you, you know maybe you can um, bake here uh, in, in cycles, you can use the bake function to bake information into images. And what I've done in my tutorial, I have baked the alpha information. I've shown you how to bake alpha information into an image and save it. And some people ask me how to uh, create or how to combine those two images into one new image a single image to, and save it. And this is what I show you today. Good. Back to the tutorial. How to combine this? It's very easy. We use another node. It's called set alpha node and place it here. So what we do now is I take an image, place it, place it here, and now I set new alpha information and use it in the viewer. So at the moment nothing happens because I've, not, I've done nothing. So we see the alpha, this alpha can be seen now here fully, okay? Now I take this alpha image and place it here. And what we see now is we see the image here based on the alpha information here. So this alpha is applied or used as a mask, okay? Let's see what is here, this one, this one okay and what we do now is we want not or we don't want to use it as a mask we want to replace the alpha information so actually this alpha here should be used as the new alpha again this one as a new alpha image here but it seemed not to work in the right way how it should because as you can see, this here, this information can be seen. So my, what I think is we have an interchanging here. So here you see replace alpha means it we have to replace. And this means it have to multiply. So this have to multiply with the alpha of this image. But when I use apply mask, then all works high, like expected. So the apply mask seem to be replaced and the replaced seem to be apply. So it's interchange anyway. It's just an information for you. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Correct me, but I seem, it seemed to be so. So let it to, or let the mode to be apply mask, okay? Now this mask will be taken and placed over this mask and we have now this result here. Great, this is what we want. And now you will ask me, okay, Christoph, but how to save this? How to save this to a single image? Um, very easy. The viewer node has a small nice function. You can not only use alpha or not, you can also, if you click here on the sidebar to the node, you can save this image to somewhere. 
and I will do it. I save this image to my download folder, image width. Alpha. Okay, okay. And you can set here the format. Okay, I'm using PNG. You can use DGA, OpenXR, or TIFF, and you can save this image. But I forgot something. If you are using the compositing area, you should be sure you have the right color information, the right, the right color management system. So I forgot to say to you, you have to go to the render settings, to the color management, and don't forget to set the view transform to standard. Yeah, because then you can see it here. Filmic means it uh, changed a little bit the, the appearance here. And you have to go to standard. And now save this image again to alpha PNG. And now it's all is fine. Okay. The reason is because we get the filmic result and it will be saved into the PNG. That's all. Okay. So you have seen it. Now we have the color information, the alpha image, we combine them together with this node, that alpha. Use the apply mask mode, and then we get the output here into the viewer node, move to the sidebar, and save this image to a file format you, of your needs. Okay, you can use every file format where that supports alpha information. That's how it works to combine the alpha and the color and save it to a single file. I hope you liked the small tutorial and uh, can need it for your projects. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye bye.